trailer trash king Well, tell me what you will I ain't up scale Okay, look at my lineup this week, and we're heading toward, oh, just about the end of my Godzilla trailers. Uh, we've got one more show after this, and uh, we've got some very special stuff coming up for the end of the season for Trailer Trash, but stay tuned for that. Um, this week's Godzilla trailers, we're going to kick right into Godzilla vs. the Cosmic Monster from 1974. From there, we're going into Terror of Mechagodzilla, very underrated, very cool Godzilla film from 1975, and rounding out this block was basically the first American re-release, I can't say the first, um, a, a pseudo comeback in America, if you will, of Godzilla. Godzilla 1985, they brought Raymond Burr back, but I, I'm gonna talk about these more when we come back. Let's just check them out for now, and uh, we'll talk about them when we come back. Not a whole lot to say about Godzilla vs. Cosmic Monster, you know, more lasers, more pyro, but fun movie all the way around still. Uh, Terror of Mecha Godzilla was really cool. You didn't know if Godzilla was actually going to make it out of this one in one piece or not. Uh, Godzilla 1985, little change in look for Godzilla, a little bit more menacing again. They brought Raymond Burr back from the original Godzilla film from 1955, and... It had a major hype campaign in the States when it was released. It didn't do crap. I, I don't understand. The audience taste was going a completely different direction, and it's too bad. But with that said, we're going to take a break, and uh, I'll be right back with my favorite slapstick celluloid artist of the time, that being one Jerry Lewis. Stay tuned. Launcher and the Dare Brothers. Tonight I'm going to tell you the story of the Wizard of Oz. Oh boy! Dorothy met the good witch who said, Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Dorothy meets the scarecrow and he's looking for a brain. Come with me to Emerald City. Soon they came upon the Tin Woodsman, and he wanted a heart. The wonderful wizard of Oz. You'll find he is a wizard of Oz, if ever a wizard of Oz. Suddenly, with a great roar, out came the cowardly lion, and he wanted courage. See the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. You'll find he is a wizard of Oz, if ever a wizard of Oz. If ever, oh, ever a wizard of Oz, the wizard of Oz is one because, 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 because. Let the joyous news the bad witch wanted the, the ruby slippers. Down the witch and then witch 
Welcome to Emerald City, said the wizard. He told them that they all had what they were looking for and to search inside themselves. And the scarecrow got a brain. And the woodsman got a heart. And the lion got his courage. And Dorothy got back to Kansas. There's one on the Jerry Lewis block this week that you gotta pay special attention to. It's just hysterical. But we're gonna start out this week's Jerry Lewis with something called The Aaron Boy from 1961. Funny, funny film. Lots of sight gags, lots of Pratt Falls, lots of slapstick. Uh, Cinderfellow from 1960, following that one. And rounding out this block, something called The Ladies Man, also from 1961. So with that said, let's check these out and uh, I'll throw in my two cents when we come back. Hollywood into a million laughs, turning everything fun side up and inside out. Do you realize that that, that, that screw loose imitation of a human being has disrupted this studio beyond control? I know. You know. Well, not if you yell, I don't. when Jerry settles down for lunch on a studio street. When he wants a drink of water in the mail room. Escorts a Hollywood star home from a premiere and almost makes the grade. And is given the most important job of all at a studio party. and fun into sparkling up-to-date new life on the screen as he plays Cinder Fella, the kitchen lackey who dishes out a feast of gags in his riotous rise from rags to riches. Fella! Fella! Oh, right before your very eyes, Judith Anderson becomes the nastiest stepmother in Bel Air, California. Fella! Right before your very eyes, Win comes floating on as Fella's wonderful fairy godfather. 
right before your very eyes, Henry Silva and Robert Hutton make the scene as fellas' meany stepbrothers. Oh, I'll walk. I'll walk. I I'm, I'm not as scared. Right before your very eyes, the royal procession comes barreling into Bel Air, bringing on that beautiful Princess Charming, Anna Maria Alberghetti, the girl who starts fella dreaming until he wakes up screaming. Ah! Right before your very eyes, the big screen really starts swinging with Cub Basie and his world-renowned band. most elaborate, most expensive studio stage set of all time is constructed before your eyes. 500 miles of wire, 100 tons of structural steel, acres of wood, carloads of nails, barrels of paint, and only one thing is missing to complete it all, the super nut. And here he is. <laughs> Shy, woman-hating Jerry Lewis is a ladies' man. But I love you, Sherry. What are you crazy, lady? Jerry finds a haven of happiness as a handyman in a Hollywood hotel for girls only. establishment where the females are more delicious than the food. And when you see it, you'll agree he's never had it so funny. I'm not moving! Aha! Well, at least you got a double, I find. That's a two-bagger, Miss Bellin's Bellin. Hi, honey. Okay, bypassing the errand boy, it, it reminded me a lot of the bellboy in a lot of respects, but going past that into Cinderella from 1960, brilliant, brilliant cinematic twist on the classic story of Cinderella with Jerry Lewis playing, so, well, you saw the story, and it works. And rounding out this one, The Ladies Man from 1961, funny, funny film, um, and Jerry Lewis made it work. So, enough said. Uh, with that said, I'm going to take a break, and we're going to come back with the uh, the final trauma block of the season. We're going to pay tribute to Toxie when we return. It's the world's greatest superheroes collection. 22 posable action figures, four fist-fighting superheroes, 16 bendable superheroes, the Batcave gift set, and five superhero vehicles, all sold separately. Here are two of the vehicles. The Mobile Bat Lab, scaled to fit Batman and Robin with Bat Basket and Bat Winch with Grappling Hook. The Joker Mobile with a Squirting Daisy and the Bat Bopper. 
The Mobile Bat Lab, world's greatest superhero figures and Joker mobile, each sold separately from Mego. The Hall of Justice playset comes with conference map table. You can bring Superman in, pretend he checks the map, and dials up a villain. You can place Superman into the translocation chamber and close the door. Open the disaster door and Superman appears. Imagine you return him to the Hall of Justice. The Hall of Justice playset from the world's greatest superhero collection. Superman sold separately from Mego. Batman here. I heard your signal, Robin. What's up? It's the Joker. I found his hiding place. I'm surrounded. Okay. Give directions on the back room. It's the Batman and Robin Batcoders that let you talk and receive like a real walkie-talkie. I'm in position. When I press the danger signal, charge. I got your signal. Let's go. Come on out, Joker. And no tricks. <laughs> That's good. That's good. The Batman and Robin Batcoders with fold-up antenna, alarm button, and danger signal. It's by Mego. You know, before I go any further, I got to shout out to, uh, you know, give some thank yous to my usuals. I, Tim McCoy for uh, the last several shows of hallucinogenic backdrops, for lack of a better term. I got to thank John Hansen for bringing me back to my roots with this series of shows. Thanks for putting me back in the library, John. I owe you. Um, we're going to round out this week's trailer blocks with The Last of the Troma, my tribute to Toxie. Toxie, you ask? The Toxic Avenger. Those of you that know about trauma films, this is probably the most famous character in the history of trauma films. We're gonna go backwards in time. We're gonna start with Toxic Avenger number three, all the way back down to Toxic uh, Avenger number one, the original. How Toxie was born. What is the Toxic Avenger? Well, pay attention to these three trailers. You might learn something. So with that said, we're gonna check these out. We'll be back with, uh, We'll be right back with Cliffhanger Corner. Stay tuned. First, there was the theatrical smash hit, The Toxic Avenger. Then came the second theatrical smash hit, the Toxic Avenger Part 2. And now, people of Tromaville, the Toxic Avenger's back. The Toxic Avenger Part 3. The Last Temptation of Toxie. There it is! <laughs> First superhero from New Jersey returns. He's looking better than ever. He's fighting better than ever. He's just <laughs> better than ever. So this is your big, beautiful love machine. He is hot. The Toxic Avenger Part 3. Three times the action. Three times the evil. Three times the mind-boggling, eye-popping special effects. The mind is a terrible thing to waste. And I am going to waste your the Toxic Avenger is torn between his low-paying job as a superhero and the diabolical temptations of wealth. $357,000. Power. And owning a condominium. Listen, I don't care if she's 80. If she doesn't have the rent at the end of the month, I want her out of there. Will Toxie join the forces of evil? 
Will his blonde, blind, beautiful, buxom, bimbo girlfriend regain her sight? Will the devil turn our favorite hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength back into a 98-pound nerd? Find out in The Toxic Avenger Part 3. Starring Phoebe Legere, Ron Fazio, mm -hmm. and John Altamura. <laughs> He's me, green, and back on the screen. The Toxic Avenger Part 3. The Last Temptation of Toxie. Don't touch that dial. He was the first superhero from New Jersey. He came to Tromaville and single-handedly wiped out crime, corruption, and chemical waste. The name's Avenger. The toxic Avenger. <laughs> How I... Holy shit! But this time, there's trouble not just in Tromaville, Messy, messy, messy. But also in Tokyo. <laughs> and there's only one brave soul who can stop the forces of evil. Mel, I am history. <laughs> There's only one hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength, and he's back. Don't worry, sir. I'm the Toxic Avenger. He's a fighter. <laughs> he's a thinker. <laughs> he's a lover. <laughs> and when he returns, criminals won't have a leg I... to stand on. <laughs> will be dancing in the streets in The Toxic Avenger, Part 2. No problem. The wildest, most off-the-wall action movie since, since what? The Toxic Avenger, Part 1. <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> the Toxic Avenger, Part 2. I can't believe it! He's a 90-pound weekly. Everyone hated Melvin. Yeah, I'm gonna take this mop and shove it down your throat. They teased him. I wanna do it with you. Okay. <laughs> they taunted him. They tormented him until he had a horrifying accident and fell into a vat of nuclear waste. Transforming little Melvin into a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength. Melvin became the Toxic Avenger. The first superhero born out of nuclear waste. Yes, the muggers and the rapists didn't know what law and order was until the Toxic Avenger came to town. Holy shit! I don't know what it was, but it saved my life. All right, everybody, drop your tacos or I'll blow your brains out. The vandals and the perverts had their way with the little people of Tromaville until the Toxic Avenger ripped them apart. The Toxic Avenger. His face is so terrifying. We can't show it to you now. You'll have to see the movie for yourself. The Toxic Avenger can bend steel with his bare hands. Oh, we're all again. Get it? Leap small cars in a single bound. He crushes drug pushers. smashes hit-and-run drivers and gives all criminals their just desserts.
the Toxic Avenger. He was a hero. He's a hero. Wow. He's a fighter. He's a lover. Well, Naomi, you're beautiful. The good citizens love him. The fat and corrupt hate him. Kill that bastard for me. You gotta kill him. Yeah. Will he survive? <laughs> for incredible explosive action, you must see the Toxic Avenger. <laughs> He's a different kind of hero. Avenger is coming to your town. Look out. documents have arrived. Pick up and deliver. I'm on my way. It's the Batman base station, and it actually transmits and receives up to a quarter mile away. I've got the documents, and I'm about to bring them in. Has a Morse code sender, a flashing light signal, and is so strong it even picks up CB radio messages. Oh, there, good buddy. Batteries not included. I've got your documents, Batman. Good work, son. Batman base station with Morse code sender and flasher button. That coder walkie-talkie sold separately by Migo. Let's act out the comic. I'll be Batman. I'm Robin, the Penguin. It's the official Bat Recorder that lets you act out Batman on tape. Batteries not included. The Penguin has got Gotham City stuck in a deep freeze. Holy frostbite! Got you this time, Batman. We'll see about this. How? Hey! Yelling! Crash! Hey! Come on, play back! The real fun starts when it plays hey, back your voices back loud and clear. Man, you sound like a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Bat Recorder comes with cassette, plays Batman theme on one side, lets you record on the other by Miko. It's the Wayne Foundation, central headquarters for Batman and Robin. Three floors of crime fighting equipment plus a penthouse. There's a fully equipped communication center, a computer laboratory, Batman's trophy case, a working elevator, a crime laboratory and more surprises than even the Joker can dream up. The Wayne Foundation comes with everything shown here. Assembly required by Miko. Okay, I've, uh... I've received the emails, and partially due to them, and partially due to my producer discretion, what I'm going to be showing you is going to be the last installment of Cliffhanger Corner. It, uh, it, it, the Cliffhanger is a very special type of film, let me say that, and it has a very special uh, and a very unique audience, a very select audience. and. I, I'm sad to say that the cliffhanger didn't survive and if you'd like more information on cliffhangers uh, email me at sjtrailertrash at yahoo.com so with that said we're gonna launch into 1951's Universal um, cliffhanger one of the last cliffhangers on record something called Radar Man from the Moon with one Commando Cody so with that said, I'm just going to say adios for this installment of Trailer Trash. And uh, we'll be back next week, and I'll be letting you know what's coming up on some future shows, too. See you later.
Too bad you lost that ray gun. You'll have a tough time getting another one now. We haven't a chance of getting one. and We couldn't possibly attack their city with any of our weapons. That isn't the worst of it. They've already tracked us halfway to this ship, so they know about where we are. It's only a question of time until they find us. One blast from that ray gun will pop this ship like a toy balloon. Maybe we'd better get back to Earth. I think so. We've accomplished the most important part of our mission. We discover that Reddick has planned to lead an invasion from the moon as soon as the saboteurs finish softening up our defenses. And it's up to us to get that information back to Earth. How soon can we take off? Well, I've got to build up the pressure in all the tanks and warm up the jets. Maybe a couple hours. Then get started. I'll fly out and scout around until you're ready. send another car out after it at once. Stay there and keep watch. Yes, sir. but I'm afraid he'd already reported us. How much longer before we can take off? One of those tanks is headed this way. How about it, Hank? I won't guarantee the results, but we can try. Here goes, all jets. Looks like we may make it if we get out of range of that ray gun in time.
But check the other compartments. Right. Well, that one barely reaches. Looks like we're in the clear. Things are sort of messed up in there, but nothing serious. Okay, Hank. You can start for the Earth now. Make a 180-degree turn. Right, Commando. Homer's bomb. Very well. The patrol car reported that the spaceship has escaped. The ship must not be allowed to land on Earth. Ready to crowd. Ready to crowd. Come in, Reddick. Commando Cody's rocket ship has escaped and is headed back to Earth. He has all the information about our planned invasion and must not be allowed to tell it to the authorities. Will you have a ray gun completed by the time he lands? I'm afraid that is impossible, Your Excellency. And use a bomb or any other weapon available. That ship must be destroyed before anyone can get out of it. Yes, Your Excellency. You heard the orders? Yeah, but it might not be that easy. There may be guards at the landing field. Nevertheless, you will carry out instructions. I will furnish you with a bomb. You can devise some means for placing it under the ship the moment it lands. How do we know when they'll get here? I'll pick up their approach on my radar, so you can be in position when they land. Got to blast him, then plant the bomb before anyone can get out of the ship. Here she comes. Going in for a landing. Calling landing field. Calling landing field. Landing field to rocket. Come in. We're coming down. Feel clear? Yes, sir. We're all ready for you. All right, Hank. Make your 180-degree turn. You take the one on the right.
stop on that bridge. Trailer Trash Keys 